I am. I'm Chuck Jones at River City Kites. Uh, we are on uh, Highway 153 at 5519. Area code 423-648-KITE. That's 5483. And I'm Chuck Jones at the store. I'm going to show you how to uh, how to adjust the bridle on a Hata kite, how to get the bow in the kite just right, and uh, how to put the how to attach the tail on it. Okay, if you use the tail. Uh, I have uh, several of these I've made. They're they're going for the hot price of ten dollars. Okay, pretty incredible. Uh, I can hardly make any money for that. That's for the big sale that's going on this uh, uh, week, uh, Thursday through Saturday, on September third through the fourth. I'm going to use this blue in here because it, uh, the string stands out real well. So here's my Hata fighter kite, or we can just call it a single line maneuverable kite. Uh, uh, these kites are flown all around the world, but particularly in India, Pakistan, uh, Afghanistan, uh, Japan, China. Okay, really incredible kites. Now, there's a few things you got to do though in order to make them fly right. First of all, the angle that the kite hangs at. You notice that angle right there. It's a very small angle. I can adjust that, that angle by pulling on the bridle on either side of this little knot. When I pull it, it unlocks. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, it unlocks. Now, I can slide it any way I want to now. And I want to slide it until it's not so that the nose is up. The no this is the nose of the kite. Just slightly though, okay, just slightly. That right there is probably too much. Okay, too much of an angle right there. I'll come back a little bit more. Well, that's about right. Okay, now I'm going to lock it in place by sliding down on the uh, knot. And when I go down, you see it changes form. Okay, right there. Now it will not slide. Okay, it won't slide now. That's how you adjust the bridle. This is a two point bridle, by the way, because it's attached to the kite in two places one, two. Okay, now the bow on the kite, it's important for this kite to be able to, when you uh, put string, when you let string out, you want that kite to be able to turn, okay, and you want to turn responsibly, okay, not just when it wants to. So what I do is I do what you call a head rub, okay, you see this at uh, Indian festivals and such, okay, I'm just rubbing the, uh, I'm just rubbing the kite on the back side of the kite, right in this area right here, okay, and I'm, I'm using the heat of that rub as well as, I think, a little bit of hair oil. Okay, I got a haircut today, so it's not as oily as it usually is. And you see, there's starting to be just a slight bow there, and that's all you want. Now, the trick on the head bow is you're not pulling down, but you're pulling out. You're pulling this direction and this direction, this direction and this direction. And then you're pulling, and then you're putting pressure in the downward position as you rub across it. Okay. Now hopefully that's going to make it so the kite flies and will turn when you need to. So when it's, the kite is going down toward the ground, you let string out, kite turns around, you pull it back in, it takes back off. Okay. It goes in the direction it points when the string is tight. So if you wanted to go to the right, you let some string out, the kite turns. When it's turned to the right, you pull it in real quick. You let your string on the ground, okay, so you don't you can, you got to use two hands to fly this kite. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can add a tail to it, and it's an incredibly stable kite. And that's a great way to start off. Add some crepe paper. I take a roll of uh, party streamers, and I cut them in half right through the, the roll of it with some good scissors. Okay, get, get a mom or dad to do this or somebody responsible. And then cut through that, and you get uh, two rolls of 72 yards that are about an inch wide. Okay, and then you can use... 10 or 20 feet here, it flies great. And when you're ready, take a little bit off and, until it's uh, getting a little bit wishy-washy, and that, that means you're able to start controlling it, okay? You take all the tail off, and it's totally controllable, okay? But it's not easy to control. So practice, practice, practice. Great kites. Have a good time. Go out and fly a kite. Okay, this is Chuck Jones, River City Kites, 423.